So today, families outside, outside of prison have asked me uh, to play the role of a mother of three children who's visiting my husband at Lomas Prison for the very first time. So Ryan's been in jail um, for some time and he's sentenced to three years in prison. And I have three very young children. I'm going to be taking the bus on the underground. I'm going to try and make my way to Lomas Prison and then have a discussion with families outside. And the point of the exercise is to show how difficult it is for families who've done nothing wrong, but they might be visiting someone, their partner or their husband in jail and how difficult it is. So I'm going to have to try and work out how my nine month old child, um, where I can go and change their, their nappies. Um, my five year old child, is, is he allowed to bring his iPad in? All these complicated questions. I don't know the answer to yet until I actually get there. And so I'm going to do my best to try and put myself in the place um, of the wife of Ryan, just to get some idea what it's actually like for families. So I'm here with Rachel from Families Outside. So I finally arrived at Lomas Prison and uh, Rachel and I, well, you're here many, many occasions, but um, introduced me to the staff here and we showed me around the amazing work that's been done to support families. I was really impressed by it, Rachel. Um, really impressed the efforts that are made to make children feel that they can still have a relationship with their father when they come, even though their father's in prison. Visits are trying to involve the family a lot more and there's obviously still the difficulties of maybe getting to and from the prison and yeah. the costs involved and all of that, but actually trying to make the visiting more beneficial for everybody involved. You know, prisoners that have better family contact have less chance of reoffending when they're out, but also children have better relationships with their parents. So it's about trying to encourage positive and worthwhile um, visits. Yeah, and if you know, if I had arrived here with my three children, which is the role you, you gave me, mm -hmm. um, then I can see that I would have been full of trepidation coming here. Um, didn't know what I would experience, so my handbag wouldn't fit in the locker, <laughs> things like that. So fortunately I could put my handbag in Rachel's car, but I couldn't do that if I was here visiting um, for real. But I could see that the friendliness of all the support staff would certainly do a lot to make you feel at ease and meet your cup of tea and there's a place for the kids to play. So um. I definitely think the visitor centre helps a lot in terms of easing some of the anxieties that families have, especially first time visits, you know, when I got you off the bus you weren't really sure where you were going, your handbag didn't fit in the locker, so there's little difficulties that you don't always think about carrying a pound for the locker and things like that, that families have to consider before they come for a visit, but definitely it's moving forward I think and there's a whole family strategy that's really at the forefront. Well thanks to the SPS and to families outside for giving me an insight into what goes on uh, and family experiences uh, coming to visit someone in prison and I think we both agree um, the families haven't done anything wrong, yeah. um, they're still trying to be a family and it's important I think for society that, um, that we continue to support families um, who have someone who may be serving time but they shouldn't be the ones that serve the Punishment. Yeah, they, de they are definitely not the ones are sometimes known as he he uh, serving the hidden sentence. So I think it's important that you know we support and encourage these families to maintain contact if it's appropriate and look at the difficulties like travelling and things like that. So yeah, thank you for coming. Okay.